The symptoms of group A strep infection are as follows. Your child may have a flu-like illness with swollen glands, body aches and high temperature. Or they may have sores or scabs that look infected. They may have a sore throat that might include tonsillitis. They may have a skin infection that looks red and swollen. Or they may have a skin infection whereby it feels a bit like sandpaper when you rub the rash of the skin. Some other children might have nausea and vomiting and some children have muscle aches. If your child has any of the following symptoms, then you might want to discuss with NHS 111 or your GP. If your child's unwell, but they're getting worse, or if your child is feeding a lot less than normal, it may be that your child has fewer wet nappies or is peeing a lot less than normal or looks dehydrated. It may be that you have a baby who's got a temperature of more than 38, who's under three months, or a baby between three and six months who's got a temperature of over 39, or it may be that your child is extremely lethargic or is very irritable. For any of these, again, you want to make contact with NHS 111 or see your GP, but importantly, trust your instincts as a parent. If you think your child needs medical help, don't hesitate to seek this. If your child is even more unwell, then consider calling an ambulance via 999 or attending A&E. And the particular things to look out for here is if your child is having difficulty breathing, they might make grunting noises, or you may notice that their tummy is sucking under their ribs, or there are pauses when your child breathes. You may notice your child's skin, tongue or lips are going blue or gray, or on black or brown skin, you may notice this easier on the palms of the hands or the soles of the feet, or if your child is floppy or won't wake up or can't stay awake, then again, you should consider calling 999 or attending your a &E department. When your child is seen by the doctor or nurse practitioner, they will decide on whether they think your child might have group A strep and whether antibiotics are necessary. The infection can easily be treated with antibiotics. If your child does have group A strep, they should stay away from nursery or school for 24 hours after they start any antibiotics, and this will stop the infection spreading. To try and avoid getting infections, it's very important indeed that adults and children wash their hands often with soap and water if they have the infection. They should also cover their mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough and sneeze, and if you have used the tissue, you should bin it straight away. A lot of parents are asking how you get strep A infections. Essentially, these infections are spread by close contact with an infected person. They can be passed on through coughs and sneezes or from a wound. And in some people, the bacteria actually live in the body without causing any problems, but they can still pass it on to others. What might make you or your child more at risk of group A strep infections? A weakened immune system or open sores or wounds or some viral infections such as a cold or the flu.